Hello and welcome back to Rivotech. Today I'm going to show you how to play full PC VR games wirelessly on your Quest or Quest 2. So we'll be using Virtual Desktop, which is a brilliant app. It does cost £20, but it is so worth it. If you like the video, drop a like. It really helps me out. If you really like it, subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. Let's get into it. Right, so what are you going to need? First off, you're going to need your Quest. You're going to need a gaming PC that's capable of running VR games. You're going to need to buy a virtual desktop and you're also going to need a 5 gigahertz router and then just a cable to connect your Quest to your PC. That can be USB A to C or C to C if your computer has a USB C port. If you've got all that, you're good to go. So the first thing you need to do is purchase virtual desktop. I'm just going to do this via the computer by the Oculus Quest store. So if you go to oculus.com experiences quest, uh, make sure you're on the Quest tab. I'll put the link in the description if you want it. So if we just search virtual desktop, I've already purchased it, but there should be a buy button here, or roundabout here. So you can purchase that, and then that will install on your Quest, as long as you're signed in with the same account that you're running on your Quest. Hi, Editor Ribo. I did forget to mention, you are gonna need SideQuest installed as well. So I've done a full video, you can click the link up there, and I'll show you how to install it. Back to the video. Right, so the second step is plug your Quest headset in to your computer. Wait for it to go green on the top left. So you're all good. Uh, virtual desktop is here for me, but you can search it inside Quest. So this is literally just a patch for virtual desktop to be able to do the wireless VR streaming. So click install headset. So there you go, patch file transferred successfully. So that's all done with that step. Last step on the computer, you just need to install the streamer app. So if you go to vrdesktop.net, I'll put the link in the description. If you're on Windows or Mac, I'm on Windows, I'll click that. Or have the download here. Click to open it. Pop-up comes up, click yes. So I click next. Decide where you want to be installed on your PC. So I'm just gonna leave it in program files. Next, and then install wait a few seconds and then you can launch it straight away if you leave that tick so finish it does give you this notification menu so on all them I'm just going to ignore them for now because it works fine so first thing you must do is put in your oculus username so the same one that you're using on your headset uh, I'll leave the preferred codec as automatic uh, make sure you use touch inputs selected and you're done on the computer. Just another quick little tip, if you don't know if your PC is fully capable of running VR games, and you've already got Steam installed, just jump onto Steam and search for Steam VR test. Install it. Uh, I've just had to search Steam because it's in tools. So Steam VR performance test, uh, launch, and then it will just go through the test and then let you know at the end how good your PC is for VR. So here we go, it pops up. So my PC is ready. It's not amazing, but it's ready. That's just a little bonus for you. All right, so now you're inside VR. You need to open up your apps menu. Virtual desktop will be here. If it's not installed, it'll be like this. So you just click install and it will install. You could also buy a virtual desktop through the Oculus store in the Quest. It's up to you. So open virtual desktop. If the screen is too close, you can grab it with the grip button and push it back. Uh, it's saying my computer is not wired, which it isn't. It is currently on Wi-Fi. But I have come downstairs to be right next to my router with the Quest. So it should work fine. Then you can select your desktop. There you go, it's connected. It'll pop straight up like this. It'll tell you what your latency is. This is how much latency you've currently got. So 20, 20 to 30. It's not too bad. It's not amazing, but it's not too bad. To get the menu up, just press this the menu button on the, your left touch controller. And then you can check out your settings. I recommend to start off with just leave everything on the default settings just to try it out and see what it's like first. If you want to play multiplayer VR games, talk to your friends. Enable that microphone pass through. You have to click allow. And you've then got your streaming settings as well. I recommend just leaving them all on minimum for now. For now I'm just going to click show performance overlay so it can just let you know if 
if you have got any issues, if it's your Wi-Fi, if it's your PC, games tab. So this should come up with all your games you've got installed on your PC. So these are the Oculus games, and then you've got Steam games down here. So you can press the menu button. Just get rid of that. I'm going to open up Boneworks. That'll launch Steam VR. As soon as you launch a VR game, it'll come up with all your info here. As you can see, now I'm playing Boneworks completely wirelessly on the Quest 2. And it's working pretty well. There is a slight bit of latency. So what have we got? 60. And the FPS isn't amazing. That latency would drop if I had my computer plugged in via Ethernet, which I will do soon. But it keeps going up and down. Like, so it went down to like 40 odd then. And now it's going up to 70. So it's not perfect. Did see a bit of stir in there. But if I was plugged in via Ethernet, it would be a lot better. But it is definitely playable. I hate these little guys. Throw them over the fence. Nope. Yeah, so as you can see, it is playable, just not perfect. As I said, with me, oh, there's loads of these guys. As I said, if my PC was plugged in via FNA, it'd probably be a lot better. But currently it's not, so this is what I've got for now. This thing don't die. Just stay there. All right, that'll do as a test. Now you know how to play full VR PC games on your Quest wirelessly. If you like the video, it helps you out. Drop a like comment if you've really liked it and you want more content like this if you're looking for any more vr videos i've done loads how to install side quest reviews on third-party accessories thank you very much for watching goodbye